Who is the best liar? President William Ruto or Morara Kebaso? Ili hawa mama mboga waweze kusaidika ni kweli si kweli? Salale. While most might quickly point to President Ruto, there's one person who begs to differ, and that is Hussein Muhammad. If given the chance, Hussein wouldn't just label Morara Kebaso as the undisputed heavyweight champion of fabrication in Kenya. He'd probably hand him the title of world champion of deception. And here is why. Just hours ago, Morara Kibaso graced the stage of JKL on Citizen TV, taking on his unofficial yet fierce role as the lone watchdog of President Ruto's administration. A watchdog role is perfected without even stepping foot in parliament. To another episode of The Vampire Diaries, I am at Womachoge Chache. This is Kisi County, and this is Nyamonyo. KMTC. Now on the 19th of October 2019, His Excellency President William Ruto came here to launch this project. This was Murara's golden opportunity to dismantle Ruto's credibility piece by piece with the kind of precision that would give a surgeon a run for their money. And he definitely didn't disappoint. He exposed what he claimed to be Ruto's grand charade of phantom projects and empty promises. And um, for me, the reason I focus very much on President William Ruto is because if we didn't have a corrupt president, 50% of corruption in government would, would, would not be there. So the fish rots from the head. The moment the president is corrupt, everybody gets the confidence mm. to steal. Yeah. So everybody will steal to the lowest level, including a teacher in a school. With each passing minute, Morara's verbal jabs landed squarely on the Kenya Kwanzaa government's chin, sending shockwaves all the way to the state house. The impact was so unbearable that it stirred Hussein Mohammed from his slumber, compelling him to don his gloves and rush into the ring to defend his beleaguered boss who by this point was metaphorically down for the count, gasping for air. Morara and, team and any other Kenyan can hold the government accountable, but do it truthfully. I'm not going to engage in a back and forth about whether the president called him. I'm telling you, the president did not call him. I work for the president. It's very simple. Let Morara substantiate. There are many ways to do that. As Hussein circled the ring, searching for an opening to counter Morara's onslaught, an opportunity presented itself. And with all the determination of a corner boxer, he unleashed a resounding stop line on TV. A punchline that echoed through the studio. And State House has called you. You've, you've had calls from the president. Yeah, yeah. Himself. In, initially, I had calls from people around the president. Then eventually, I got a call from the president. I spoke to him very respectfully because he's our president and he has been given that mandate by the people. And um, whatever I was offered, I refused. I was offered a state position. Serikali kubwa. Come, we find you something. But um, I believe it's overcrowded over there. There are enough people over there. And being a brilliant person and a person of integrity, I believe that if I go into government, I'm going there to be corrupt because there's too much demand for corruption. Mm. There's too much demand for you to steal money and give to certain people. So for that reason, I'll not be comfortable. I'll be depressed working there. I'd rather stay at my furniture shop and do my business. <laughs> Truthfully speaking. Ukakata. Yeah. Uh, Ukakata. Nilikata. No. Um, Jeff, it's just unbelievable. I mean, uh, I wasn't following, but I was told about this. I'm just shocked at what uh, the gentleman, uh, Morara, is saying. I wonder why he would lie on national TV, but the president called him. I mean, it's ridiculous that I have to respond to this, but let me do it because you, Jeff, you're my friend. We work together, but you let it happen on TV as well, on national TV. So, for the record, such a call never happened. It's a figment of his imagination. But it's, what is more shocking, Jeff, is that you can allow anyone to come on TV and tell you such a thing without demanding any proof or substantiation, and you just buy it, hook, line, and stinker. I mean, all you should have done at the very least, he say that that is, or well, those are his words, and it's an alleged claim from him, not just to accept and say that, okay, the president called him. Anybody can say that. Many people say that. You see, Hussein couldn't fathom why Morara would claim that the president had a 
personally called him with a job offer, a call that Hussein, as the official mouthpiece of the presidency, had no record of. Sensing blood in the water, Hussein pressed Murara relentlessly, demanding proof of this mysterious presidential call. But as Hussein's assault intensified, Murara executed a slick sidestep, swiftly pivoting the conversation. He began waxing poetic about President Ruto's supposedly cooked goose, painting a picture of a government grasping at straws to stay afloat. And to our president, God has given you a chance to lead this nation. You're already a billionaire, no secret. There is nothing more that money can do for you. Money has already made you president. There is nothing above this. Please, if you really care about corruption, begin with yourself. Call yourself into a meeting and ask yourself, would you like to continue being a president that leads in corruption or that leads in development? And as a president, your word should mean something. Don't lie at every opportunity. You are breaking our hearts, you are disappointing us, you are depressing us. Because every time we wake up and remember that you are the president, we are traumatized. You need to remember that you are leading people, not graves. Care about us. Care about the children of Kenya. Do not be very happy to transport and export your most energetic and brilliant labor of the youth of Kenya to go build other countries just because you've built a very corrupt system that does not create opportunities for them. Mr. President, I want to assure you that the silence that you feel today is not peace. It is the silence before a storm. The pressure from the Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade grew, urging Morara to produce evidence of the alleged call after the interview. Cornered, Morara Kebaso decided to lay it bare, but with a twist of his own. I am not going to follow the footsteps of those leaders who used to record the president or put him on loudspeaker to prove a point. I don't think it's good manners. For that reason, I will not focus on proving whether or not it happened. Isaac Maura knows it happened. William Ruto knows it happened. End of story. Let's focus on Kutengua Mahali Ametenga. The call is not of any importance in the fight for good governance and end of corruption. Let's not divert the conversation. The nation knows who the liar between me and Dr. William Ruto. Ruthless focus. Forward we march. And with that, Murara neatly dodged Hussein's jab, leaving the crowd to ponder who really had the last word and who might be the best liar in case if Murara lied.